Kevin McCarthy can do nothing right. You may know in your life, someone or many people like McCarthy. They are thin, they wear shabby clothes, and they don't care about anything but moving up the ranks, figuratively speaking. They crave power and will do anything to get it. So let's talk about Kevin and his strange and unknown statement. That foundation is Fox News, of course. I hope there is some fresh energy in the green room because Kevin had a bad time at the station without any information. We hope that at least he will get a good meal out of it. The interviewer is the manager of Mark Levin. If you know Levin, you know that he never smiled in his life. Mark Levin gives the term anger a new meaning. I don't believe he and the Grinch who stole Christmas aren't best friends. Levin asks McCarthy about George Santos, which is clearly not Kevin's favorite topic because Kevin refuses to do anything about Santos and his lies. So Levin asked him this question, and it's a stupid question, who is more powerful, Joe Biden or George Santos? I'm surprised that people are watching this. McCarthy's answer was one for the age because it was worse than I expected. First, McCarthy got into a laugh, spiritual desire. We think the non-speaker might have laughed a little because he was nervous. Then he said this, well, now I think it's President Joe Biden. Thanks, Kevin. Look, it's not that hard, is it? Apparently it is. Because, as you might have suspected, Kevin botched his answer. Wouldn't you know? Back to Kevin's original answer. Well, now I think it's President Joe Biden. Unfortunately. Are you sorry? I could hear the bells of the miserable landing ringing all over the floor. Now that the word was thrown out of his mouth and said under his breath, it was only in a loud voice that we came to television. Maybe Kevin didn't want that. After all, he had just declared that Santos the liar should, in Kevin's opinion, be more powerful than the president. On Twitter, the word, good luck, began to circulate the site. Twitter couldn't believe it. And this is a team that saw everything. Are you sorry? asked thousands of confused tweeters. Wait now. Hold on. He couldn't, Kevin couldn't say that. Should be a joke right? The answer to this question is no, this is not a joke. Meet the Republican leader of the House, it's sad.